Let me see this. I'm gonna be real. If this is good, this is gonna be a video because niggas be on my dick about Saitama versus Goku, Omni Man video, all that. Like, I still see the comments. I, I read them. I just don't fucking reply because I want to hit all they asses up in one swoop with a video. So you're saying this proves that Saitama is just star level? Fine. I just, and I read the latest chapter. Trust me, I'm gonna use that shit. But I know Saitama's gonna come back. Let's see. The newest One Punch Man chapter just dropped. Spoilers if you haven't read it and you want Spoiler, to Spoilers, spoilers. This Fuck has out. to be the craziest chapter for One Punch Man storytelling and scaling yet. First of all, Cosmic Beer Garo says that he has all knowledge in the universe and that he has an attack mm -hmm, called the mm -hmm. All Life Eradication Fist. He is capable of using nuclear fission. When he dashes at Saitama, we get a panel so reminiscent of when Boros used his meteoric burst. This one right here. This makes sense because one himself said that Monster Garo at his peak potential and Boros are similar in power. The Hero Association is completely baffled at what's happening. Even Psychos is terrified. However, despite some people believing that Saitama actually is trying in this chapter, he's no. not. He's more worried about his clothes than he is Garo. That's the thing. I realized that when I was reading the chapter. I'm like, Goro's is like, he's going crazy. But I'm not going to be a dickhead. I'm not going to downplay them like how them niggas downplay Goku. I know Saitama's not dead ass right now. He's about to get, he's about to show us some like next level shit. But wait, let me let him finish the video. What's up, but Goro, Art? with his mastery of martial arts, is able to fully copy Saitama's moveset. He calls it Mode Saitama. Goro then uses consecutive normal punches and matches Saitama's consecutive normal punches. The two clash with this ability and it results in a massive explosion. The two continue to clash, and again, this doesn't mean Saitama is damaged or trying, with once again drawing parallels to Boros, mm -hmm. which is continued to back up by the statement. But here's where it gets good, and it's here that Boros and several other One Punch Man top tiers, including Saitama, get the biggest amp in power that we've- Low-key One Punch kind of boring for real, I'm not gonna lie. One Punch Man, this is why I hate when niggas say I'm a DB fan. I prefer reading One Punch Man than Dragon Ball Super any fucking day. See yet. Garo believes that him and Saitama are It's more entertaining. Mad. Again, Saitama's more concerned about how it's kind of a bothersome that he had to promise the kid that he wouldn't hurt Garo. As Garo continues to tease Saitama on how they are evenly matched when they aren't. But then he charges up a technique called the Gamma Burst. He launches this out and this is very reminiscent of a pulsar in a star. A pulsar is something that happens when a star is near the end of its life. It can either become a pulsar, become a black hole, etc. This blast is fired out and it is referenced as the most powerful explosion in the history of the universe. This yep. almighty- I'm not gonna lie, that shit look like a regular final flash from Vegeta, bro. Power, everyone has been confused on whether or not it's planetary, whether it's solar system level, whether it's star level, etc. Well, it was calped by the man James Daly. It's star level. Goro is star level. Saitama is star level. Boros is star level. Okay, calm down, calm down. He's star level. Okay, relax. I'm so happy. So when did the map, this is like screw attack. They do the fucking calculations. Like if it was a thousand tons of TNT and they put it all together. Relax. <laughs> Punch Man top tiers. Unbelievably far into MFTL. Easily thousand times plus. But it now they're so star sad. level. I can left. say that I now. I am Yo, I am pro plays. Thank you for the freaking 11 months in the building. Waiting for the next Yo. chapter. I'm on the edge of my seat and you should be too. Because mm, I need one statement about galaxies or universes or something. And I'm running with it. I don't care. This is insane. I'm so happy that this is happening. I mean, I'm glad you know I'm saying that we're getting a little bit more power feats for Saitama. But like I said, I know Saitama is fucking strong. I know he's strong. But here's my thing. I've said this in my previous videos discussing Saitama. There's going to come a time when Saitama can match up to Goku. What? There's gonna come a time when he's gonna be them. He right now he's DBZ tier, but he's low on the freaking tech. Like he's low on that fucking list. I'm not a hater. I support it. I see him doing it one day. Is he that now? Fuck no. Wait, hold on. Let me say it again, but louder. Move the mic closer. Is Saitama DB? Like, is he fucking Goku tier? Goku level now? Fuck no.
No! No! He's not! Cause after after Burrows did that attack, where the fuck is Saitama? Niggas think he's dead. <laughs> I don't think it hurt him, but that shit pushed him somewhere. That nigga on the moon, he on a different planet, he is he's somewhere. Oh whoa! Whoa! Well, what, who was the guy? Boros, Boros was star level this and that. Garros is star level. Do y'all realize what? Another? 12 seconds later. I'm not just gonna mention the casual Saiyan levels, like Saiyan people are able to freaking destroy planets. We already sent that clip. I said it so many times. That's whatever. Goku has far surpassed anything in regards to just basic planetary destruction or even solar level destruction. But let's go to Battle of Gods. When Goku and Beerus was having their little fight, the little squabble or whatever, the simple fact that they was touching fist to fist, the little clashes that they was doing in space in Battle of Gods was enough to freaking... Sh it damn near was able to shatter the universe. Those were universe universal punches right there. Them shits was that destructive where it was like, bruh, each punch, the whole universe was feeling that shit. That's how strong it was. Saitama has done nothing remotely close to Battle of Gods Goku yet. Goku has gone way above that since that point. Goku now has Super Saiyan Blue. His base level has increased tremendously, tremendously since then. He has Ultra Instinct. He has all these different techniques that off rip puts him way above himself in Battle of Gods. But the reason why people are so easily able to say that Saitama is stronger than Goku is because, and I blame Dragon Ball for this, in One Punch Man, they showcase the destructive level of each punch. When Saitama does a punch, you see the effects of that punch right away. The fact that Goku and Dragon Ball is all, all known for throwing punches, and it's just like you see nothing really affect the area too much, people assume like, oh, it's not doing too much. Like they expect to see a feat every fucking step of the way when that nigga throws a punch, when that's not the case. Like... When Saitama throws a punch, you can see like, oh, he either destroys the enemy right away, because that's the gimmick, or that you see the freaking effects it has on the area. Like, for instance, when Goros freaking catapulted Saitama down. Y'all gotta clean this shirt, what the fuck? Catapulted Saitama down from the, like some volcano in one of the freaking panels in the comic. I think he went through the earth, or the freaking vibrations went through the earth. You don't see that shown in freaking Dragon Ball, and that's Dragon Ball's fault. But does that mean Goku can't do something similar to that? Hell no. He's done something far superior to that in his base form in space. But that's just Dragon Ball's like failure of attempt to showcase these things happening. But we could go back to before Super, just Z. The simple fact that someone threw a key blast and it was aimed towards the ground, it doesn't even have to be all that powerful, was enough to destroy the planet. Like when Goku was going to fight freaking um, Cell and he was doing a Kamehameha, but it was aimed towards the ground and even Cell was afraid that, yo, this dude is trying to destroy the Earth. He did an instant transmission and aimed that bitch upwards. That's showcasing like, yo, their basic attacks like Kamehameha, Final Flash, Gala Gun, all those little things there are enough to destroy the planet if needed. They're not trying to. They fight in ways where it's to avoid that from happening. Not gonna lie, you overkilling the feats. All that needs to be, all that needs to be said is that Kid Vegeta destroys solar systems. That is facts, but you gotta understand the one. The one you gotta read my comments, bro. The One Punch Man fandom, the the dick suckers. They think I'm a freaking DBZ tar. Like they think I'm just on Goku's strap. Like nah, bro. I'm just saying like I could use other events. We could just say that Kid Vegeta was doing that because we literally got clips. I I showed you guys the clips. Of Vegeta destroying an entire planet effortlessly. And they're still like, B -b -b Boros is star level. Nigga, we've seen kids, kids do what fucking they're doing, dog. Like, I'm not saying One Punch Man characters aren't strong. I'm just saying, even though Dragon Ball Z could be inconsistent with the power levels, bro. One Punch Man is not there yet. Will Saitama one day be there? Yes. I think there's going to come a time 
when he's Saitama is going to be up there with Goku, and he's going to be doing some crazy shit. He may do something crazy to Sark. Is he there now? No. Is he anywhere close to there now? No. Like right now, Saitama and Krillin could have a good sparring match, in my opinion. I'm not even gonna lie. One Punch fandoms be thinking that Saitama could clap Goku. Like, suck a cave and stand a chance against Superman. In my opinion, I think Superman would be Goku. That's how you know I'm not a fucking Dragon Ball Tard. There's fucking feats that Superman did that's ridiculous. Like, I'm not, like, I don't have favoritism when it comes to the characters. I may have grown up on freaking Dragon Ball, but that doesn't mean I'm an idiot. Like, I've watched One Punch Man since it came out. I'm up to date with the manga. I see the feats. I see all that other shit that's going on. It's not like I don't keep up with that either. But Superman is a different story. Superman carries. I'm, I'm going to just show this because I never showed this on the freaking. I never showed this on a YouTube clip. But, bro, Superman is the nigga who did this. Superman is the same dude who did this. One day in deep space, by moving these worlds from their own dying galaxy to the new suns at the other side of the universe, I'm saving countless billions of lives. I'm not going to be the nigga who's going to try to defeat this feat and be like, yo, Goku solo. No, uh, no, I don't see Goku doing no shit like this. Can Goku destroy multiple planets if you wanted to? Yes. But it's a different story when you're able to fucking carry. Dozens of planets from universe to universe. That's a whole different thing. Superman's a different animal. Now, if I, I'll be a Goku tart if I was like, yo. I don't know, man. Can he be Goku? No. Actually, yes. Yes, he can. Depending on what Superman we talking about. But this is, I just wanted to use this video so people get a better understanding. Because I be reading the comments and I'm like, dog. I'm not just a Dragon Ball fan. I, I fuck, I'm a hater most of the time on Dragon Ball. If y'all see my old videos on my other channel, on my G7 anime channel, I talk shit about Super. I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't on no Dragon Ball dick. I'm, I'm being honest. I'll I tell y'all the facts. I talk shit. Storytelling-wise, I give Dragon Ball shit. But power scaling-wise, I'm not an idiot. I know what it is, dog. But anyways, make sure you leave a like. I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna post it because I don't have a video for the day. Hey, so we got, hey, that's video number one. Just from that. Thank you, Omni. <laughs>